this winery out here in Agua Dulce, which is obviously the eastern part of Santa Clarita. And a lot of people think about Santa Clarita. They think about just the city part and the streets and the busy and the bustle and the hustle and all of that. But there is absolutely an element of Santa Clarita where we have this lovely country out here, horse country, obviously winery country as well. And that's what one of the things that makes Santa Clarita so great. Yeah, of course, when I'm growing up here, everything was horse country. Well, that's right. <laughs> ba way back in the day. Way back in the day. <laughs> so let's bring Mike Bjorkman into the conversation. Hello. Hello. This is horse property, Michael. This is large large parcels of land this is, is there right a, up my alley I is, love it. yeah it is and is is this how what's the market do you have, do you have an award for that like <laughs> horse property i'm not going there today. it's like when you go on a listing like from horse property there you're like no, no, no. <laughs> actually i was like the no. top seller horse property boom <laughs> you guys planned all that we did not replant it just <laughs> actually just came to me you just come funny. to us and it's like you know stop <laughs> Talk He's like, now I can't use it right, for my so, YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I love horse property. Obviously, with the price ranges we work in, a lot of people want larger estate property. And, um, you know, one of the things we talked about last week, a lot of people don't know how much horse property really is in Santa Clarita. Um, starting with way out in Castaic, uh, north of Castaic, uh, you have Hasley Canyon, all that surrounding area. Uh, moves down to parts of Newhall. And then over to Placerita Canyon, you know, where I live, there's... Uh, then it goes right into Canyon Country, Agua Dulce Acton. And what's nice about that is people say, why is that good for horses, Mike? It seems to be a little close to the valley. Is there really room to roam? Well, um, almost all of Santa Clarita Valley, as a matter of fact, I could say, if I had to give a guess a percentage, 90%, is surrounded by state and federal land, mm -hmm. um, which we're allowed to use. We go out motorcycle riding, we go out horseback riding, and you can go for days on a horse. Um, so a lot of the people that find that out and know that still want to be close to L.A. Let's face it, a lot of people still have to commute to the busier parts. But you can come out here, fresh air, beautiful, huge parcels of land, fairly inexpensive compared to, say, Malibu or Calabasas, right. and uh, have your whole team of horses and, and uh, you know, have your facilities, arenas and barns, whatnot. Let me, as I was driving out here today, one of the things that really struck me was the beautiful homes mm -hmm. that are here. There are some spectacular homes that are in this area Absolutely. and and I just and gated community or, or gated homes themselves it, it, there is some just lovely lovely areas to be out here right like I said a lot of my luxury clients and high-end clients they do like coming out here um, you know again some of the celebrities and athletes they like to come out this direction for privacy mm -hmm. and then some people just got you know big families or who even if they don't they want the room to roam and naturally if you're gonna live on an acre plus like most of these lots are build a big house it's, it's pretty inexpensive to build a beautiful home these days and uh, the average price per square footage is you know well it's it's really low I don't want to you know hurt contractors but the um, the homes let's they are beautiful out here mm -hmm. and you can you get a lot for your money the average mm -hmm. homes about 3,000 square feet in Agudalsi where we're at here um, they go up and down a little bit and the nice thing about Santa Clarita too is the price range is different you can get an affordable home with a small home on it and still in first-time buyer range. You could, you could actually find a home on an acre lot in the threes, mid-threes still. Mm -hmm. wow. And in some of the areas, um, you know, you get a free house. The, an acre of good land in Santa Clarita is anywhere from two to 300000 closer into town. And obviously, as you get farther away, it gets less. Uh, but you, can, you could live quite nice. Uh, on a first time buyer home range and still have your horses and interesting. Yeah, what I love cool about things. it is that I don't I don't like neighbors like mm -hmm. oh looking into my backyard when I'm oh, somebody the naked. Just kidding, I don't <laughs> 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 that ship sailed a long time ago. <laughs> but really I don't like Glad you confirmed it though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Tables have suddenly turned. Boom, yeah. <laughs> boom. Yeah. There you go. Tammy, ba boom, Edwards. Is that what you're saying now? Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, it's like an earthquake. <laughs> um, but I, I, I really don't like people looking into my right. backyard. I like to have the freedom to play my music as loud as I want to. I want to play it, and you know. So for me, that's what I like about this type of a property. Sure. But what I would like to um, touch on with you is, as far as if someone uh, looking to buy a property in this area. There's a lot of realtors that market themselves in just one area mm -hmm. and will say, I am the specialist. I'm the Hasley Canyon specialist. I'm right. For me, I think they kind of 
pigeonhole themselves there because I'm feeling like I would want to reach out to someone like you that has a multitude of buyers in all areas. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you... There's two ways to market in real estate. You can market yourself, like you might live in a certain neighborhood and get all the postcards in the mail. Mm -hmm. Mike Bjorkman's the best neighborhood in this neighborhood, best agent in this neighborhood. Yeah, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that agent might know everything about your neighborhood, but that's not where the buyers are coming from. Mm -hmm. So that's what I specialize is getting marketing out there nationally, internationally, mm -hmm. and we spend the money and have the resources to really market properties. Um, the other big thing, if you're looking in this price range or in this particular um, area, in the last 20 years, I've seen a lot of the homes. I know a lot of the areas, uh, grew up out here, and, and have sold hundreds of homes in these areas. So if you're looking for an executive-style home or even on just a larger acreage, everything's custom out here. So you really want an agent that knows what the heck they're doing because you could say, I'm looking for this, and an agent that's work, used to just working solely downtown or in the city, they go, okay, we'll find it. Now you just get a bunch of random emails. Um, but you get a hold of somebody with a lot of experience say, yeah, I've seen tons of homes on the market out there. I've sold tons of homes. I know exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. That's a gr you know, it, it triggers a question in my mind because I know someone who's looking for a, a home. And she says it's, it's very limited. There, we've talked about it here right. before. The inventory is really, really low. The agent that she is working with gives, sends her notices of when there's a property available. But she, the agent says, I'm just sorry, but there's just very little that's available. The... It seems very limited in the scope at which they're looking. They're not broadening out and thinking outside the box, so right. to speak. And that's kind of what you were talking about. Yeah, and we, we had that we did that show not too long ago about the difference in what do we do to find homes for buyers. And there's a there's a list of things that we do that agents can't or won't do. Um, you know, all the way down to knocking on doors, mailers, network groups. And the, the, the best thing with us is our thousands of clients in our database, our past clients. And knowing everybody in town from growing up here and, um, mm -hmm. you know, serving in the community a lot. Usually somebody comes up to me and says, I'm looking for this. And it won't be on the market, but I'll have some. Mm. You know, and that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's not really what the show's about. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, especially property like this. There's a lot of people that say, you know, I'd love to sell my home. I don't want to be on the market, but I'd love to sell my home. So... In this region alone, there's probably four or five homes right now that I know that I could sell if there's a serious buyer out there. Mm -hmm. And that's good. what's nice about having inventory. <laughs> well, Mike, thank you very much, as thank always. You. This is this is a beautiful area. I, I can't you believe You know it. a thing or two about this kind of real estate. Yeah, I sure do. And this winery, um, we, you know, today I was taking a lot of pictures. It's, it's something unusual. Um, Robert Reyes, obviously, is a fantastic person for letting us go see all the back end, but... Most people don't know in Santa Clarita we have little hidden gems like this, and I would, mm -hmm. I would definitely come out and visit and spend some time with Robert and the family because it's a beautiful winery, and they're mm -hmm. producing twenty-five to thirty thousand bottles a year, and they got a full-blown shop out there. Most yeah. people don't know that. You drive by and you can see the beautiful vineyards, but when you come in and really feel it, it does feel like wine country. And mm -hmm. I think yeah. we're blessed to have this out here. And Absolutely, I'll definitely yeah. be back and bring some friends and see. You know, it. and and it, it, we're going to wind up the show right now, but because of that, uh, you bring up a good point. Obviously, over the weekends, you can come in here to Reyes Winery for wine tasting and do that, but then you can also go to Roman Holiday for that, and I know that that's yep. a place you've been to. Yep. We've all been to Roman Holiday before, and you can go to Roman Holiday to uh, be able to get a, a chance to sample some of the Reyes wine. Yep. Mike? Award-winning wines. Award-winning wines. That's exactly right. Like award-winning Boom Boom <laughs> <laughs> Or Boom Boom Sunbathing Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> and before Thanks. I get a bad nickname, thanks for being here, everybody. Let's go ahead and sign off of this one. We appreciate that you spend part of your day with us. We hope you have a good day.